Right, you're probably going to want to listen very carefully to this because this might just be the most important lesson you are ever given in your life. Well, until I do the breakdancing one, which will literally change your world. Right now, I'm going to teach you husbanding. Now, I'm not just going to teach you how to be a husband. I'm going to teach you how to be the husband, the world heavyweight champion husband, the Mike Tyson of husbanding. And the biggest takeaway you'll have from this video is just how simple that is to do. It's basically three very straightforward steps. And if you adhere to these three steps, your husbanding prowess will skyrocket. Your wife will become the envy of all her friends just because the word will have gotten around of your husbanding ability. So let's get on with it. Husbanding lesson rule number one. And this is, I'm going to, they kind of go in importance. So I'd say this is possibly the most important rule. Have you ever heard the phrase, what they don't know won't hurt them? Well, that's never been more true than when husbanding. And I don't mean that in the most extreme case of infidelity and murder, things like that, because, you know, you probably shouldn't do those even if no one finds out about them. What I'm talking about is the things that can make a difference to their day. So, first thing in the morning, start off on the right foot. First thing in the morning, she bends over, she rolls over in bed, gives you a kiss, and her breath smells like somebody's literally taken a poo in her mouth. Don't say anything. Resist the temptation to pull her face. Kiss her back, start the day on the right foot. She didn't need to know her breath smelt like a toilet. She's cooked a dinner. She spent hours cooking dinner for you. A recipe that her mum's handed down from her mum and her mum. It's important to her. It tastes like an asshole. Don't tell her that. You gobble that crap down with a smile on your face. Tell her it's delicious and thank her for her hard work. She didn't need to know. She's bought a new dress. She's going out with the girls tonight. She looks like a drag queen. Doesn't fit properly. Mutton dressed as lamb. She's far too old to be wearing that kind of stuff. Send her on her way with a kiss, a little message of how beautiful she looks so that she goes out, enjoys her night, comes back a happy person. Happy wife, happy life. So anyway, that's the first basic rule. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You can extend that to things like you spent more on your bike than she was willing to allow. Yes, love, you said I could spend £500. It cost me £500. If she goes on in that knowledge for the rest of her life, everyone's happy. You've got the bike you wanted might cost you three and a half grand. She thinks you spent 500 quid. Perfect. Um, so yeah, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Rule number two, random displays of affection. Not necessarily public displays of affection, but they go quite a long way as well. But they just have to be random, sporadic, unexpected. So again, she's out on that night out with her girlfriends looking looking like a way past her best, enjoying her night because you've just told her how beautiful she looks. Just send her a little text message. You look great, darling, when you went out. Love you, can't wait for you to come home. Couldn't be more simple. So, so, so easy. It doesn't cost you anything. Text messages are free now. Do it on an iMessage. Don't even need to use any of your text credit, text message allowance. You're just using your, your Wi-Fi data or broadband data, whatever it is. Write her a little note. Leave it, leave it in her bag before she goes off to work. Have a nice day, darling. Hope it's not too stressful. Look forward to you coming home. Again, cost nothing, but 10 seconds of your time. It'll mean the world to her. And that's the kind of thing that gets your name and your husbanding prowess recognized within the circle of wives. She turns up to work. Ah, oh, look what Marcus put in my bag before he left. All the other wives, they all know about it. Their husbands are now under pressure, going back moaning. Why didn't you ever talk to me like that? Why didn't you ever do that? How did Emma get to be so lucky with, with Marcus as her husband? Look at these little things he does. He doesn't have to do that, he just does them. Random displays of affection. Thirdly, there was a thirdly, third, really this this one's really simple and it's an extension of the saying choose your battles 
I mean, choose your battles. Just, just saying that says it all. But I want to be a bit more specific. Choose the battles you know you can win in a way that is going to make her just grateful. So if if a fight's about to kick off of something where you know you're in the wrong, maybe she found the bill for that bike you said was 500 quid, ha just put your hands up, own up, come clean. You can't win that battle. If another one kicks off where, or, or if you've started a little argument where she's done something wrong and you know categorically 100% that she's in the wrong, do it. But do it with a bit of style, with a bit of class. Let her know you're not going to hold it against her. It's not a big deal. You're fine about it. Just that you're a little bit disappointed and would like to think that she wouldn't do that again. Your forgiveness and your calm demeanour will mean the world. And she will be she will be forever grateful of your, uh, your generous nature. Um, don't pick a fight unless you think it's terminal for your relationship. Because who could be asked? If you're gonna have an argument about something, just as that argument's about to blow up, think to yourself, is this an argument that's gonna last from there to there, and then we're just gonna get on with it? In which case, you've wasted that time. Sorry, I'm out. yes, I am drinking. You've wasted that bit of time between there. It's not worth it. So at the start of that argument, think to yourself, is this argument going to go from there to the total collapse of our marriage? If yes, it's worth having because it's obviously something serious. If no, just walk away from it. Walk away. That's all you have to do. And um, it's hard to argue with someone that doesn't want to argue. So if you just walk away and just say, yes, look, we'll, this isn't, I, don't, I really don't want to argue with you. I don't want to fall out with you. I don't want there to be a bad atmosphere with you. I'm sorry if it's something you did, um, or I know you're sorry if it's something she did, but I don't want to argue about it. Just walk away. That's it. And you know what? It's going to be quite a short video because that's how simple it is. Three things. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. Random displays of affection. Choose your battles. Simple. So there you go. I'm happy I could impart that knowledge on you. Um, like I say, if you follow those to the letter, you will be champion husband. No question. If you do two of the three things, you're going to come unstuck at some point. It's got to be all three things, 100% of the time. And you just sail, sail through husbanding. Absolutely, absolute piece of cake. Um, so the next lesson, I've been thinking about these these lessons different ideas keep popping into my mind about things I can teach you. So I'm going to carry these these on and I thought it'd be a good idea to maybe put them in a playlist and so that, so that they're kind of, it's kind of evergreen knowledge. You can always go back on it. It's, this isn't time sensitive. This is relevant to marriage back in the 15th century. As much, there's as much relevance there as there is now. Um, consequences of certain things back then were slightly different to how they are now, but it's not time sensitive knowledge. So I will create a playlist I'm thinking of calling it Wisdom Wednesday um, and just make this collection of wisdom that it might not always be done on a Wednesday, but I will try and do it on a Wednesday, that you can refer to at any time. Any, any time you're having doubts about any aspect of your life, just go and watch an episode of Wisdom Wednesday or Wednesday's Wisdom and just, just reaffirm what you know is already in there. You just need somebody to tell you how to deal with it properly. Um, so that's husbanding. Go, go now. Knock it out of the park before you even stop watching this video. While you're watching this video, get your phone out, text your missus or, or your your husband. Because you can be a husband to a husband, obviously. So text, even if they're sitting right next to you. Love you, thinking of you. You might get a funny look if they are sitting right next to you, but give it a go. It might just make your night a little bit more enjoyable. And it certainly will for her. She'll appreciate what she's got, or he will appreciate what he's got husbanding.